Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I make my building night scene using V-Ray Renderer. I wanted to show the lighting effect but at the same time I still want to have the shade from sunlight. In this scene, we're going to use a lot of lights. It will take a considerable longer rendering time. That's why I suggest that you turn off all of your displacement or bump for a while and then turn it back on after you finish setting all of the lights. For example, I use displacement here for the grass texture. Go to material. Then uncheck displacement. Then preview. Also change the background to have more suitable background for a night scene. Now set the V-Ray parameter. Go to option. Most of the parameter is the same with the daytime parameter that I gave in my previous tutorial. I'm going to change the environment, camera, and color mapping. First, environment. Change the color to dark purple. It'll turn the nuance to a bit orange. And then I will raise the value to 5 since I'm going to reduce the sunlight intensity. I'm going to raise the sunlight size because I want to soften the shadow. But for that, I will have to raise subdivision value so there won't be any noise. Reduce the ozone value to 0.2 so it will be a bit yellow. In my scene, I created the glass texture using the background texture as the base material. Then I added the reflection and refraction. But if you are using clear glass, you can override the reflect color using a dark blue color. Then the camera. I'm going to turn on the vignetting, so the corner part of the image will be a bit darker. This will make the result become more realistic. Also, I'm going to change the color to light purple. For the color mapping, I'm going to raise the bright and dark multiplier. And also I'm going to reduce the gamma, so the light contrast will be higher. Now I'm going to create V-Ray light. I'm going to start from rectangle light. The first one is the invincible ones that's going to be the dominant light for the interior part of the building. The other one is the one that is visible. I'm going to attach it to the existing lamps. For example, I'm going to attach a light to this lamp. I want this lamp to be visible, so I left the invincible check off. All of the visible light intensity value should be about 10 to 20 units higher than the invincible light around it. So I'm going to put in here about 100. Also on the other side. Since I created this lamp using component, then all of the same lamps have the same rectangle lights. Also the lamps on the ceiling. 
about 15 times 15 cm. Lower it about 1 cm. Then array it. More or less like this. Then we create the dominant lights using rectangle lights. Change the lights a bit yellow. Then turn on Invincible. And this will be the main light for the second floor. Copy it to the first floor. Now we're going to create the up light and down light. We're going to use IS lights. Put it right here. Change the parameter. Insert the IS light file. This depends on the light library that you have. You have to try it by yourself which one is most suitable for your scene. I'm going to use this rectangle shape of light like this. Then copy it to the rest of the lamps. We're going to do the same to these street lights and also anywhere that might need up light and down light. The result will be something like this. The IS lights file aren't the same for all of these lamps. For example, I gave here light type A and here I gave IS lights type D. Now turn back on all of the displacement. Ok, now render it. And this is the result. Hope you like it. Good luck!